<laughs> Thank you. I uh, want to show you a short presentation about our research on pH measurements in strongly acidic medium. Uh, I think I'm not mistaken if I uh, say that no, uh, there are no uh, chemical laboratory or biological laboratory without devices which uh, determine pH. Uh, only in the Russian Federation were used more than one million uh, such devices. Uh, this uh, number include more than 10,000 uh, pH measuring instruments which uh, use in gastroenterological uh, studies and analyses. As is known, a pH value is from 0, uh, 0 0.8 to 2.5 pH in a stomach of healthy humans and if uh, the humans have any pro stomach problems, he, his pH um, may get uh, of uh, 0 0.6. However, at Vavniv tree uh, have established uh, the state primary standards uh, on pH. Uh, which uh, support uh, a pH interval from 1 to uh, 12 uh, with as measurement, measurement uncertainty of uh, 0.004 uh, for and um, uh, this uh, capability uh, this, uh, there are uh, in CMCs of our institutes. And uh, for supporting uh, traceability in Russia, at uh, VNIF3 uh, have been uh, set up uh, pre a production of um, standard titers and uh, buffer solutions uh, certified as class one and class two uh, working standards and uh, they um, support uh, in this interval from one to twelve. Of course uh, the devices which measure um, pH less than one stay without traceability. And uh, more of these uh, devices is used at uh, clinical areas. To solve this problem, last year at uh, the Veneve 3 began the development of acidity measures. Uh, the working standards. Uh, these measures uh, can um, support uh, the devices in this area. Uh, the studies have been carried out in the range from pH uh, 0 0.13 to 0 0.524 at a temperature about healthy uh, bodies. Uh, um, at first, we uh, study out uh, measurement uh, pH with glass electrodes, uh, with measurement errors of plus minus 0.0. .0 and uh, the working standards were calibrated by class 1 buffer solutions reproducing uh, pH 1.649 at a temperature of 
0.5 plus minus 0.5 degrees. Reproduction error of plus minus 0.006. The results of the experiments are shown in figure one, two, and three. This uh, uh, with pH uh, 0.5. To four. Uh, this is pH 0 0.228, and this is pH with 0 0.13. As can uh, be seen from our present data, the results are not meteorologically stable. Those experiments have proven that the well-known glass electrodes are unacceptable um, for use in the highly acidic medium, and it should be tried to find another um, solution. To dissolve these uh, tasks, NIF3 has developed high-touch measuring electrodes, which have relatively stable potential over time. The first experiment already uh, shows uh, well results, uh, reproducibility of potential relative to the hydrogen electrode. It's shown on figures four and two time figures five. This is uh, two uh, hydrogen electrodes and this is uh, two time. And this is results of our new electrodes developed. And uh, of course I can see about positive uh, properties of our developed electrodes. This is a reproducibility of the potential of the measuring electrodes at uh, 150 um, microvolt. The ability to measure pH in a strongly acidity media with an error of plus minus 0 0.05 at uh, 36 temperature. Stability to most types of acids. Uh, relative cheapness of raw materials for production. And uh, disadvantage of so developed electrodes. Difficulty to produce to uh, produce to need um, storage in an inert atmosphere if you want to keep it uh, a long time, and relatively big error if you use it uh, in a region from one to twelve. Uh, at this stage, we finish uh, s uh, selection of the developed electrodes and started to uh, carry out about uh, um, getting stability of uh, developed measures of pH. If uh, we um, get uh, positive results, we will uh, set up uh, pr uh, producing of measure measures, strongly acidic measures, and so that we can uh, support uh, the clinical area uh, in this uh, range, less than one, and uh, not, not only in clinical area, as well in pharmaceutical area, uh, in uh, uh, chemical industry, in um, nuclear energy industry as well. Thank you for attention. <laughs>